Hello and welcome to this Electrical Science and Principles training video. In this video we're going to explain the answer to question 2 in the 8202 Level 3 exam from April 2022. All the information we're about to discuss can be found on the City and Guilds website, so we're not giving away answers to future exams, we're just explaining the answers to past exam questions and hopefully helping you just to polish up your knowledge a little bit and also maybe your exam technique if you've got an exam coming up. Now please bear in mind that this is only my opinion on the answer and the marking criteria and this video should not be used for example to argue with your teacher for extra points. Now if you're finding the channel helpful and you'd like to say thanks please click the link in the description to buy me a coffee uh, although I prefer tea so that's even better value but there's absolutely no pressure to do that it's just there if you want to help support the channel or say thank you. So the question that we're going to answer in this video is list three methods of generating electricity using renewable energy. The first thing to notice is the use of the word list. Now generally speaking this means that you can do exactly that. You can just list a series of answers with no additional explanation. Uh, putting in that extra explanation won't give you any more points. So if the question says list then just list the answers to get the easy points and perhaps save time for the harder questions. However do also bear in mind that in the next exam they may ask for a little more detail on one of these subjects. So don't assume that you only need minimal knowledge to pass an exam ever. So what are some acceptable answers to this question? Well renewable energies are the ones that we tend to think of as being green and the marking criteria shows answers such as solar although personally I'd insist on my learners writing solar PV because solar can also refer to panels that heat water for use in a building but according to the marking criteria solar is an acceptable answer. Then we've got wind, which is a good one. That's uh, using those massive wind farms that you see on hillsides uh, that I personally love. I think they're a great thing using those to generate electricity. The next one on the list, I think, is a bit of a funny one. It's CHP, which stands for Combined Heat and Power, which is basically a heating system for a property, but it also generates electricity, thus making use of heat that could otherwise be wasted into the atmosphere. They're very efficient, but some of them do run on gases from fossil fuels, which is a little bit of a cheat in terms of green credentials, really. However, they can also be run on renewable gases such as methane. In fact, there's a company called Biogen, not a million miles away from where I live, who turn waste food into electricity by carefully composting it and rotting it down and then burning the waste gas that comes off that to run a CHP and make electricity. So that's a pretty cool application of technology and a pretty good use of food waste. So that's number three. Uh, we could stop there, but the marking criteria does list some other acceptable answers. These include tidal. Now this can take two forms, one of which uses tidal flow in areas where water is forced through natural channels when the tide changes by installing a turbine connected to a generator in these channels, we can make electricity and also by installing barriers that control the flow of water through internal pipes as the water level rises and falls every day. And finally we've got the option for hydro which will include things like dams that control the flow of water from a river through pipes, turbines and generators to make electricity. So those are referred to as hydroelectric dams. However it does make the point that stating pumped storage would not be an acceptable answer. An example of this kind of situation can be found at the Norwig Power Station which pumps water up into a reservoir on a hill during times of low electrical demand when electricity is cheaper and then allowing it to flow back downhill through pipes, turbines and generators when demand is high to ease the burden on the grid. As this is really acting more like a battery rather than generating electricity from scratch it's understandable that this wouldn't be acceptable as an answer in this circumstance. So there we go, a nice easy question to kick us off and an easy three points to be had. Check out the next video in the series for future insights into electrical exam questions. If you'd like to chip in then please click the buy me a coffee link but again there's absolutely zero pressure, it's just occasionally people say they'd like to buy me a drink to say thank you. So there's an option there to buy me a tea or a coffee if that's what you prefer. Uh, but there's no pressure to do that, the content will continue to be uh, produced either way. So please don't feel uh, pressured into doing that, especially in these times of financial hardship. So all that remains in this video is to say thank you very much for watching.